Have you been diagnosed with acne and started on Accutane and then now your gut is suffering? You're not alone. Many, many people have suffered from gut problems after using Accutane. That's what we're talking about today, Accutane and leaky gut. I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer, I'm a registered dietitian, functional medicine doctor, and family doctor. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome back. If you're joining us again, please subscribe, hit the bell, like this video, and share it out if you like the content here. I'm on a mission to try to help everyone that has gut problems reclaim their gut health and reclaim the magic of feeling well. So help me share that mission by helping the channel grow. So today we're going to talk about one of the multi-million dollar drugs called Accutane. People, teens, adults are often put on for acne problems. And I'm not saying that this medication doesn't work. It definitely works for acne. But is it getting to the true root cause of acne and is it creating more problems? No, it's not really getting to the true root cause of acne. And yes, it is creating more problems later on. In fact, there are lawsuits for the company that makes Accutane, or against the company that makes Accutane many, many of them um, for a diagnosis of inflammatory bowel disease later in life. Now, inflammatory bowel disease is not the same as IBS. It is actually Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, which is more serious than IBS, or the symptoms are more serious and sometimes can result in even surgeries on your intestines. So not everyone that takes Accutane has this side effect, but it is there and it's a potential. And there def there's definitive proof that Accutane screws up your microbiome, imbalances your microbiome. There are a lot of medications that do that, including the antibiotics that are also used for um, acne. So if you're having gut problems after using Accutane, then you want to look at do you have leaky gut. Now, if you have inflammatory bowel disease, that's even more serious. So that would be like rectal bleeding, blood in your stools, very bad cramping, weight loss, nausea, um, diarrhea that's not controlled, usually people end up seeing a gastroenterologist or even end up in the hospital when they have IBD. So those are very serious symptoms that you're going to know that you have. Now, if you have leaky gut, what that means, and I have a lot of videos on leaky gut, and I will post a link here and have a playlist down below. But leaky gut is when the intestinal lining, which is supposed to be a barrier like this, becomes open and leaky, and then toxins and bacterial and the bacteria and pathogens, disease causing agents can go through to your bloodstream. So Accutane not only can cause the serious side of the spectrum of IBD, but it can also cause leaky gut. So when you have leaky gut, there's hope for repair, but it's not as simple as taking another medicine. It is a multi-step process. And that's why I do have a course called Trust Your Gut. It's a membership where you have a lifetime membership to this course. We walk you through all the steps of healing your gut. Um, you work with me and my um, health coach, Jess. We have group coaching calls every week. We have a private network where you can ask us questions. We can look at tests. We can recommend tests. We can recommend supplements as long as, you know, you discuss them with your private doctor, too, because I can't act as your doctor. But it's a, it's a very comprehensive course because healing a leaky gut does take many, many steps to heal it. It's not as simple as taking a probiotic or stopping your medicine. Some people, yes, it is, but most people that I run into and that I've worked with hundreds, it is not. So let's get back to Accutane. So if you're currently on Accutane, definitely talk with your doctor about your gut symptoms if you're having gut symptoms. And leaky gut symptoms can be bloating, diarrhea, cramping, fatigue, um, skin problems. So it could be even, even other skin problems like eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, flares, rosacea. Um, it also can be brain fog and fatigue. So there's a lot of things that can come from leaky gut. So check out my videos on leaky gut and healing a leaky gut because you can get some good information there too. But just know that there is a connection between Accutane and a leaky gut. So if you feel like you need to continue on the Accutane, please take these other steps that we have that I have available in the videos and in my course to heal your gut and to at least try to lower the long-term effects of Accutane. And if there's any way you can come off of the Accutane, that's even better. And then you can really start the healing process because if you're doing the full healing process along with taking a medication that has been proven in studies to damage your bacterial balance in your gut, so your microbiome, 
to lower the good bacteria, let the bad bacteria overflow, cause the leaky gut, and maybe even cause IBD. If you're continuing to take that drug and then trying to repair, that damage is continuing, so you're constantly trying to fight against it. So if there is any way that you feel comfortable coming off of it, you may see improvement in your skin just through repairing your gut because Accutane is not getting to the root cause of your acne. It's a multi-million dollar industry, like I said, skincare and acne treatment. And it is a lot of people feel many, a lot of pain and a lot of confidence problems in self-confidence problems with their acne. It's not only painful physically, it's painful emotionally to have acne. So I understand that. And that's why Accutane is so popular and use you so much because it does work. But just know that it's not getting to the root cause of the acne. And then there's more you can do to help your gut, even if you have to continue on the Accutane. So this was just an intro video on one of the medications that can disrupt your gut. Ac disrupt your gut. Accutane is not the only medication that can disrupt your gut. I've talked on other videos about acid blocking medications, antibiotics, even antidepressants that can disrupt your gut. So if any of these are necessary meds, please talk with your doctor, continue them, but please work to repair your gut. And if there's any way to come off of the medicines, please do so and then do all the hard work to repair a leaky gut. And you can find all that information in my other videos. I just wanted to bring to your attention the connection there. If you want um, more information on healing your gut, check out my other videos. My gut health playlist is down below. You can also book a call to learn more about my program and you can join my Dr. Shelley Meyer private network. And that is separate from, it's like a Facebook, but it's not Facebook. It's on Mighty Networks where you don't have the ads, you don't have algorithms, you don't have Facebook drawing you in different directions. It's just simply the information on functional medicine and gut health and gut healing. So that's free. You can join that and we hope to see you there and I hope to see you again on the channel. Thanks for joining me.